Hi everyone, uh, welcome to St Mary Hornsey Rye Sunday Club. Um, in future weeks I'll get others to video it, but um, this is just an idea that's come together today and it's only Saturday. Uh, so I'm going to tell the story of Lazarus, um, as you'll see from the sheet that you'll have had or the links. Um, you can just read it yourself on Bible Gateway or um, listen to it if you have the Holy Bible app and you're looking at John 11, uh, 1 to 45. So if you have the Holy Bible app, you can just press play and listen, listen to different people read from different versions. Uh, and I'm going to read from the uh, Lion Bible for Children. Uh, a family tragedy it's called when Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem for the Passover feast a messenger came running up to him master master you must come the man was out of breath and desperately upset he could hardly speak what is it asked Jesus clasping the man by the shoulders tell me it's your friend Lazarus he's dying Mary and Martha are begging you to come now. Jesus sat down, covering his face with his hands. He was filled with deep sorrow, but he did not move. Master, come now. Jesus stood up slowly. Death will not be the end of this, he said. This illness will lead to the glory of God. The messenger did not understand and begged him to follow, but Jesus turned away. The man returned to Bethany in despair and found Mary and Martha sitting beside their brother weeping. Lazarus was dead. Jesus gathered his disciples together and said, Lazarus has fallen asleep. I'm going to wake him up. If he's only sleeping, said one, then he's all right. But Jesus explained, my friend, my friend Lazarus has died. They set out for Bethany, none of them daring to speak. How could Jesus have allowed such a good friend to die like this? When Jesus arrived, Martha came running towards him. Oh Lord, she sobbed. If only you had been here, you could have saved my brother. Lazarus will rise again, said Jesus. Oh, I know, she wept. I know he will rise again at the last day, at the resurrection on the last day. I am the resurrection, said Jesus. I am the life for those who put their trust in me. Martha didn't understand what he meant, but sent for Mary, who came out of the house. When she saw Jesus, she fell down at his feet, moaning and crying. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Where have you buried him, said Jesus, full of love. The two women took Jesus to the huge tomb, cut in the rock face. A great stone lay rolled across into a deep groove. When Jesus saw the grave and heard the weeping and crying all around him, he broke down and wept too. Then he said, roll the stone away. The stone? But Lord, cried Martha, he's been in the grave for four days. There'll be a smell. Believe and you will see the glory of God. Roll away the stone. So some strong men from the crowd heaved and pushed and forced the great stone away until the darkness of the grave was open to the air. There was a deep silence. I thank you, Father, for hearing my prayer, Jesus cried out suddenly. You have heard it for the sake of these people. Then he stepped forward, calling, Lazarus, come out. There was silence. Then a soft footstep, then another. Slowly, steadily, a figure wrapped in strips of cloth walked out of the grave into the sunlight. The crowd gasped. Some screamed, some fainted. 
others began to praise God and sing of his glory. Take off his grave clothes, said Jesus, and let him go free. So do enjoy looking at the discussions and questions and uh, downloading. There's a word search, a dot to dot colouring page, um, crossword. Um, so do enjoy and uh, let me know how you get on.